All right, ladies, you're starting with your chin towards your chest. You're going to roll your ear towards your shoulder, bring it back center, and do that again on the other side. Make sure your shoulders are down away from your ears. So roll those shoulder blades back and go ahead and roll that neck. Loosen up that neck, you're doing good. Now from here, we're gonna look over the shoulder, bring it back center, and look on the other, over the other shoulder. Good, just get a nice stretch and mobility through that neck. Going side to side. It's important to do mobility exercises because it keeps the flexibility in your body. Roll those shoulders back and down, back and down. Good. You're rolling the shoulder blades down and you're alternating one shoulder and then the other. Because I used to work with older adults and what I noticed is that you're going to reverse that. Um, they lost their mobility when they did not keep it up. It was a vast difference between the ones who took care of themselves and the ones who didn't. Here you're lifting up your chest, stretch through the chest, and then rounding through the back. So you're going to separate those shoulder blades, press that spine back behind you. Chest up, rib cage down towards that pelvis, round out, lift up, good. All right, from here, you're going side, back, side, center. Chest up, <laughs> chest up, to the side, back, and side. And you're just doing like um, upper body isolations here. Gonna reverse that and do the exact same thing on the other side. So side, back, side, chest up, side. Press that spine back, side, and lift up. And lift, good. Okay, from here. Getting ready to work through that lower body. So below the um hips you're going to go circle or at the hips you're going to circle around so you're trying to draw circles on the floor with your hips good nice mobility exercises keep it nice and loose here you're opening up your hip flexors if you sit down a lot during the day this is excellent for that other side same thing From here, we're going to get into those inner thighs. So notice the feet are wider than hip distance and just shifting that weight from one heel to the next. Keep that knee behind that toe. Press those glutes um, back. Uh, keep, um, keep that weight in that heel, in those heels. Nice job, please. From here, we're getting warm up that spine. So you're gonna take that chest down towards the uh, floor and roll up. Good, and do that again, chest down, you're rolling through your uh, vertebrae, stacking them one at a time. So this helps with the realignment of your spine. And roll it up, slightly tuck that pelvis forward as you roll up. Down and roll all the way up. Shoulder blades down that back. From here, <laughs> I guess we're doing the uh, hip flexor exercise again. Open, good, and open up. You can never do too many of those. Okay. Good. Two more. Last one here. Good. From here, we're moving down towards those knees. Knees and feet together. And you're going to make circles with those knees. That's all you're doing. Moving those joints. Now reverse that. Good. Now from here, we're going to those ankles. Gonna extend that leg out. If you need a wall or something to balance on, go for it. If not, let go. And just making circles with those toes. Good. And reverse and go the other way. Doing the same thing. And switch feet. Circle it. And reverse. Reach and stretch all the way up and down. 
Oh, I'm stretching my chest there. All right. And go ahead. Nice job, ladies. Very well done.